Hey everyone, I'm Lisha Broad and I own Artsonality and because I believe everybody has a little bit of creativity in them, whether it's big or small. So I'm gonna show you some things, just started a YouTube channel, woohoo! I'm gonna show you how to sew in a straight line. I know it's really exciting. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have two pieces of fabric that are trimmed and cut to be the same length. So a lot of times you go to the fabric store and they'll cut something like that. Isn't that nice? Look at that, it's all curvy. Sometimes there are extra pleats in it. So especially, you see that? Yeah. So fabric stores cut things a little bit ridiculous. So just make sure the edges are straight just to save yourself some hassle. I went ahead and pinned a couple completely contrasting pieces of fabric together just to make your life easier so you can see. Sorry, my daughter's trying to make a star appearance. I'm gonna have to kick her out. Excuse me, shoe, shoe fly. I've got two pieces of completely contrasting fabric just for your viewing pleasure. And they're already the same length and they're already pinned together. See the little pins? That way you don't have something, you don't have a piece of fabric trying to run away while you're gonna sew. We're gonna sew in a straight line and I'll also tell you how not to. It's gonna be fun. The most important thing when sewing in a straight line is to make sure you know where your needle is. Right here, the needle is right in the middle, or you can, most sewing machines have little buttons to where you can move the needle to the right or to the left. I'll use mine here and show you. You can probably see it moving to the right there and then to the left. So you lower your presser foot, and this trick that I use, every presser foot here has has an edge, can you see that? Yeah, is there a little edge to the presser foot? There you go. So what I like to do is to move the needle to where I want it to be. So if I want a seam to be further to the left, then I'll move my needle, but I'll make sure the fabric stays in line with the edge of the presser foot right here. You just push down and you make sure your fabric stays lined up with the presser foot. If you look away, it might do something on its own. I'm not even looking. Look, no hands, no hands, no hands. Look at there, see it's going off track because I'm not looking. Isn't that funny? Whoa, look at there. And we're done, look at that, look at that. This also happens when you stop to take a drink or like one too many. I said even caught a pin for me. That was fantastic. That was delightful, so snip that. So when you look away, <laughs> see it starts off straight but then it bends because looked away, wasn't paying attention. So we'll try this again, but on the other side. But really, if you make sure the edge of the presser foot is always lined up with the edge of the fabric, then you're good to go. So just like I've got a pedal underneath the table, and I can show you that in a minute, but when I press on the pedal, it's just like driving a car. Just like don't drink and drive, don't drink and sew, otherwise you're gonna have something looking like this and not on purpose. <laughs> so as long as you keep the edge lined up, then it'll be perfectly straight. Every now and again, you might have a bump, especially if you're working with a bumpy fabric, or I've, I found with canvas, it likes to push the needle back and forth sometimes. But really for me, if I just keep the edges lined up, then I'm good. a nice straight line for you. There you go, enjoy. So please head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe and that's where you can see part two of how to fix this mistake. You see that, isn't that nice? So curvy, look at that. So that's how you'll fix a mistake. See you then. Try and sew your hair. Because you'll have thread hanging out of it. <laughs>